Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you are well. I am on to do my next December daily. So I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a nice, easy one because it is day 19, I think. And it's buttons. Because yesterday we did fabric. Sorry. I do still have to catch up on some days as well, but I'm thinking I might actually be able to do bits and pieces of them in between doing my tidying. So I might not necessarily show the process, but what I'll do is when they're done, I will show what I've done and explain the process to you. Um, Cause yeah, I need to do use map for day 10. I need to do bows, pocket and tag. Black Christmas and laces still to catch up for those days that I missed. But yesterday's was this fabric one, which I love. And I thought, um, since it's buttons today, I already used a button yesterday. I could just stick a whole lot of my scrappies on and be done with it. But I have this bag here that has the elements that I made the scrappies with, and it has the buttons as well. And to keep this page looking nice next to this page, um, which I still haven't stuck my photo in or taken my photo, I will get there, that I might do a belly band here and I might make it a Christmas fabric snippet belly band. I thought, why not? That'll look good. It'll fit in with the page next door and it will use up some of these bits as well. So, and I don't think we need much more. I might do a stamp or something on here, but otherwise it really doesn't need much because that page is quite busy. And then I can just tuck a journaling card in and journal on the paper as well. Something like that. So that is my plan. So basically let's make a snippet roll. So I've got these beautiful fabrics. These are mostly op shop fabrics. Not sure whether that was a fat quarter or op shop fabric, that one. But yeah, most of this is all secondhand. They're secondhand laces. So that's really cool. And then the buttons, I'm pretty sure they were secondhand. <clears throat> so let's get this show on the road. So we're gonna need a long piece of something to put them on. Now I had fabric out here. Could just use another piece of this actually. So this would be about the right length for the page. So I'm just going to hack away at this and cut a piece out. As our base. down here because it's got that um wrinkle in it but that's all right i think that'll be fine we'll overhang things so we probably won't notice too much anyway so i'll just cut a little bit off of here i'm debating whether to stick this onto some card which i might as well just to strengthen it, make it easier for me to slip things in and out as the belly band. But what we'll do is make the snippet roll first, and then if I want, I'll stick that onto some paper or card to make into a belly band for the page. So, I'll just grab random bits. I want the smaller bits, I think. And we can just stick them on, cut them down. And what I might do is just use a little bit of my Helmars. I want some scrap paper. Here we go. I'll use Helmars just to tack them down in one little spot and then I might just sew up and down to make sure they stay on all right. I might even cut these in half. Yes, I just got back from the bookshop Christmas breakup get together. So, um, you know, they had finger foods and mini pav. I had to have a mini pav. 
when I get home and my son wanted to order Domino's. <laughs> so I just had some pizza and garlic bread and a shake and now I'm full. <laughs> so I must work it off. It's a bit naughty of me, but don't you love, I love that fabric. It's got the gold in it. I'm just gonna cut a few up so that they're ready to go. It can be lopsided. Don't want it to be too perfect. I want some of the red. I think I'm running out of that stuff. I don't even know where all these fabrics have gotten to. I have to find them and put them together with this year's Christmas fabrics that I've found. So I might start with just a base layer of simple fabrics and then I might add lace bits and buttons and if I find anything else that I want to put on they can go on afterwards as well just to make sure that I've got a bit of each probably need more than that but that's a start right. stringy it can be very annoying at times that just arguing in my head about which one I want to put down next got some red I'm knocking my glue over every time I put it down. I'm having strings of glue everywhere. I suppose it wouldn't be so much fun if it wasn't messy. So there's no bookshop now until I think the 8th of January I go back. So the idea is to try and use a whole lot of pages or sell a whole lot of pages before I go back so I've got room to pick up some more. I'm off getting all my dishes afterwards. I've so been neglecting all the stuff that needs doing around the house other than moving furniture and uh, my craft room. So I must get the dishes done, clean the kitchen. Oh, I forgot I had these ones. I've got to get my room sorted. Got all the furniture put in there now, but I've got to put all the clothes in the cupboards and all of that. And move all the books out. I've got books everywhere. So they all need to be sorted and put back in the bookcases. down there. Got this piece. It could go down there. Might as well. Alright, 
so that's the fabric so now we might stick some of the laces on and then we're going to have to now I can either stick or sew the buttons on I might sew them because I think that'll look nice but we've got these laces I do have my ribbons as well but it might be a bit much to put anything like that on Maybe some of this gold stuff will go nicely. If I can find the end of it, doesn't matter. I'll just chop some off here. There. And maybe got this one that says Merry Christmas. Maybe we can just put some of that on the top of the page. Um, I'm just going to chop a bit of it off. squares don't know how the sewing machine will go getting through this but we'll see find out Actually, our laces we were going to stick on after I sewed. Or do I want to sew on one? I could sew on one. He's out everywhere now, my glue. Thing that'll do for that all right so I have sewn down up and down as you can see on the back a bit easier I just left the black thread in the machine and did it with that so that will do would have looked nice with red or something but I like the way that's turned out so now I'm going to sew some buttons on they could be stuck on but they're gonna hold on better if I sew them so I'm going to use this red thread that I have. I just had to go and hunt up a needle. So I'll just tip some of these out. Got different colored greens. They might look nice with an assortment. I've got different colored reds even. So I'll just thread my needle. I found my glasses, so hopefully I'll be able to do this. a right oh yeah there is a right and wrong side because they have a bit of a pattern on them yeah you can watch me try and find the hole all right i'm just gonna go 
through a few times, I think. And it will almost do it, I reckon. And then I'm just going to tie it off. Just do a double knot. I mean, I could have put a knot in the end of the thread, sewn that button on, then just run the thread along the back and done another button and then continued like that as well, which probably would have been easier maybe. But I'm going to continue on and do it like this. So I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to watch me sew every button on. And I'll come back and show you once I've got them all on. Okay, so here I have sewn on one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. So hopefully that fulfills the button prompt. And I love my festive snippet belly band. I think it looks really cool. So the next thing I want to do is, I don't know, sometimes I find fabric ones don't hold stuff very well. But we will see. We have our page here. And that's going to look awesome. The other thing I want to do is I did cut a few strips of this Merry Christmas ribbon. And I might put that at the top and bottom before I put my belly band down. Because it seems to fit nicely with Merry Christmas either side of the belly band there. So we'll do that first. Get my glue. Make sure it's ready to go. Take my glasses off. <laughs> giving me a headache. I don't wear them very much. They're meant to just be for um, reading and writing. But there's some craft things like fussy cutting where I find that I'm a lot better if I wear them. Cut it right before the Merry Christmas and then right after the second one. We should be pretty right there. Put that back away in my Christmas ribbon bag. I have to get you guys to help me sort out all my Christmas stuff at the end of the season and put it away so that I know where it all is next time I want to use it. So I'll just run a tad of glue along the bottom and top. Try and spread it out and get it right to the ends where I want it. That fits all right. must go and fix up the um, blackbirds laid three eggs in my carport that was a few weeks ago and I left them there but I didn't I hadn't seen the birds for a while and I felt the eggs and they were freezing cold so I think they didn't like the fact that I moved the nest even though they um, put the eggs in there I don't think they were very happy so they obviously didn't sit on the eggs, which is unfortunate or fortunate. Depends which way you want to look at it. Um, so, yeah, so I've got to go and empty it out. I could just take the eggs out and give them another go to see if they need to sit on them next time. But I don't know. Okay, Hear him out there singing now. Oh, that looks nice. So the idea will be to stick that down like that. 
And then I've got this is one of the cutter parts from the a gingerbread Christmas collection that I got from Auntie Vera. So I'm thinking about putting journaling space on there and then that can be what sits under. I think that's going to be really nice. So I might just stick it down and see how it goes. sort of got it where we think we want it. Glue strings. Now make sure I don't stick my pages together. date as well on this one so I might back my I'm going to put something under here just so that the pages don't stick to the next pages while it dries and I will back my little journaling card now I've got another one of my palm cards with the corner that's been bent in so I don't mind cutting that off and using it like this it'll come in rather handy for my Christmas projects crooked better it will do and of course I'll link around them just because I can now for this one I can journal about my um break up lunch that I had for the bookshop. Safe to take this out. So that'll just slip under there. It sort of holds it alright. If not, I'll stick a um, pin to hold it. Now, just got to find my dates. I've got the black ones here. But we were out of the ones, but we still have some eyes and we have to do 19. I've got a nine there, so I might just use them. Got some twos, so that's good. good slip that under so that is it nice simple page but it looks really nice next to that one with my snippet roll belly band so I hope you enjoyed that guys and I shall see you again soon hopefully I have a page or two to show you of my catch-up pages as well as hopefully I'll be on tomorrow to do 20 which is good question Favourite wrapping paper. Haven't I done enough wrapping paper already? So, yeah, favourite wrapping paper. <laughs>
actually I know what I'll do for that one. So I'll be on for that tomorrow. See you later, guys. Take care.